Hey everyone and welcome to the latest Zabbix series video. In this video we'll talk about the new community template collaboration platform that you can see right over here on my screen. So this is the platform that we have migrated to from Zabbix Share. So it's a brand new platform, brand new GitHub repository that you can use to download all of the community templates or contribute your own template. So we will take a look in this video at the main benefits that this has over Zabbix Share and also we will talk about how you can use it, how it can be useful for you to contribute, to maybe participate in discussion, suggest fixes and things like that. So this is available by navigating to github.com slash Zabbix slash community dash templates. Okay, let's get to it. Let's take a look at the readme. What does the GitHub repository itself say? So first off, how to use community templates from this repository? So of course we can download and import a template from here. We will scroll down in a moment and we'll see an index of templates. We can download any of those templates, import it into our Zabbix environment, and then apply it on a host. So really simple, same as we could do before, only this has a couple of benefits that we'll talk about later. We can also collaborate. So we can open a new issue and report bugs that we find. We can improve template documentation, once again, either by opening an issue in this GitHub repository and making our own suggestions, or maybe by forking this here repository and making our own fixes and then submitting those fixes. We will talk about how to do that also in a moment. We can also review existing templates and discuss them and help other people by answering their questions over here in GitHub. Next up, we can contribute our own template. So we have a set of template guidelines available over here. Let's open them up. Let's look at them. So four sections. First off, we have key principles, how a template should be built and what principles should be followed when building a template. We have a style guide. So when it comes to template language, to macros, to regular expressions, how those should be used. Then best practices. When it comes to, for example, update intervals and discovery rules, what are the best practices concerning those? Otherwise, if you don't follow them, the template could actually harm someone's environment. Imagine you have an update interval of one second on a very intensive, very maybe resource hungry discovery rule, right? We don't want that. So that's why the best practices are here. And then the structure of your community template, how you should write readmes, what sort of folder structure you should have, and so on. Some examples of that. Okay, let's switch back. And here we can see the index that I mentioned before, an index of templates. So first we have the type of template, application, database, network device, cloud provider, whatever else we have. Then the vendor. So over here we can see 1C, for example, Kaspersky, whatever else. And then the template itself. So let's find a template. I'm going to look for a CoroSync template. There it is. And let's try and import it into my Zabbix instance. So I will click over here. I will select the version. In my case, I use version 5.4. I'm eagerly awaiting for the release of 6.0. Should be coming sometime very, very soon, but currently I'm still on 5.4. Let's open this up. So we have a custom readme. So this is a custom readme. We can have two types of readmes. We can have a custom readme, and then we can also have an automatically generated readme that I'll show you in a moment. This automatic generation of readme files is a great benefit of this here GitHub platform that we have utilized. So then we read the readme, we make the necessary preparations, we click on the YAML file here, and then we save the raw file. Save link as, save it, and then let's try and import it. I will switch back to my environment over here, click import, select the template file, there it is. There we go, click import, and we will see the great new change that was added not so long ago that now we can see the diff when we import a template. This is a brand new template, so nothing will be changed or removed. We will only have added one new item, one new trigger, and of course, this template that contains them. Let's click import, and there we go. There we can see the template. So really simple, right? Not, not complex at all. Select the template, download it, import it, boom, you're good to go. Quick, easy, intuitive. Okay, so let's move back. So what if I wish to contribute, right? I have the issues section over here where I can participate in discussion at the top. But what if I wish to, you know, add my own template? What if I wish to make changes to a template? You know, I have a great idea of how to fix someone else's template, improve it, and I wish to contribute. So what we need to do here, we need to fork this here repository. We click on the fork. 
right? So we'll need a GitHub account for that. It's free, quick to create, simple. And now I have forked it. I can now, for example, open, let's edit the readme file. It's simple, easy to understand for everyone. Click on readme file over here, click edit, right? And now I can add some line, for example, demonstration. There it is, demonstration. And scroll all the way down. I click commit changes. And now if I click on pull requests, I can create my own pull request, new pull request. And this will submit these changes for our development team, our integrations team, to take a look at those changes. And if they make sense, they will be applied and merged with the main branch of our fork. So this is really amazing because this gives us the tools to test, to vet each of the template and each of the changes that you make to make sure that these templates actually work. Zabby Share was sort of a mess in that regard. This is a great improvement. And of course, if I, for example, let's go back to my fork, Zabbix templates. I can also uh, always on my own fork, if I click fork over here, I can always add a file, right? Upload file, upload my own template, my own YAML template, for example, or XML template or whatever, depending on the version that I'm using, the format will change and contribute that way with my own custom template or maybe a media type. So this isn't just for templates. Media types also, we accept them. We recommend if you have your own custom integration with your own software product or, or an existing software product that you wish to contribute, you can do just that. So perfect. And what about readmes? So I mentioned automatically generated readmes. So when you contribute, when you upload your own template, yes, you can create a custom readme file. And if you don't, the readme will be automatically generated. So let's go back to our community templates on our official public fork. And let's look at some of the templates. So I know that I think the VM agents template should have an automatically generated readme just to see how it looks, just so I can show you guys. So over here, right, we have macros used, template links, discovery rules, items collected. This was generated automatically. So this is of great benefit. Once again, it gives you a layer of transparency. So before you use this template, before you download it, you can see the description, you can see a set of entities that this template contains, and you can decide, hey, do I need this? Or maybe I need something else. So this is really great. And of course, you can also provide your own custom readme with the necessary steps that maybe a user needs to configure their environment, how they need to configure their environment before they use your template. So when that's that, really simple. If you're familiar with GitHub, you'll feel right at home. If you're not, it may take you five, 10 minutes while you get maybe used to things. But yeah, simple, easy, flexible, gives us control over guidelines, over the quality of templates. And generally, this is a great improvement for everyone. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see your contributions right here very soon. Don't be shy. Participate in discussions and contribute. Thank you, everyone, and I'll see you guys next time.